Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about creating deep emotional intimacy with your lover. And the next tip that I have for you is listening or being a good listener. In relationships, very often we are really happy when everything is going great. You are in love, everything is fine. And then at one point there is a shadow that is hitting your relationship, your couple or one of the persons uh, in uh, in that couple. So when a shadow hits you or a shadow hits your partner, what I mean is that your partner is going to go through some emotion or through some process, something that is happening to them and uh, they need to share. They need to come to you and say, you know what, something has been happening at work that really bothers me, uh, uh, you know, I need to talk about it. So very often in relationships, there is going to be the space for light and beauty, all that is really open. But then when it comes to sharing shadows and being open to listening when somebody is having problems, uh, sometimes we miss the skills a little bit on, on that level. So it's very important to stay present with your partner when they are going through their shadow, when they are going through some emotional trauma or something that is happening that uh, maybe you are not too comfortable with, but it's, it's something to learn. And um, so how does that work? What it means is that when your partner starts sharing, <clears throat> the guidelines are this, you don't have to fix them. You don't have to convince them to respond in a different way. You don't have to educate them. You just have to be present and say, yes, honey, I understand what you're going through. I can imagine that this is hurting you. I can imagine how this made you feel. You see, simply having compassion, sympathy for the emotion and identifying or merging with the emotion of that person. So the reason why you want to do that is because if you are only comfortable with the lights and not comfortable with the shadows, you are missing on a whole range of possible emotions. When you love somebody, you want to love the totality of that person, not just the nice light and beautiful bubbles. You want to engage with the totality of the being. So when you're having sex with your lover and you have no idea what the shadows are, you don't know what their insecurities are, you're missing on a whole aspect of their persona. So if you are two people who function in authenticity and you have been sharing a lot and you have been exposed to lots of challenges in life, you will obviously be able to connect on a way deeper level than if you are just in this place of joy, pure joy and happiness without exploring the other aspects of your life. And yes, some people are happy all the time and that's fine. But if you have inside of you aspects that you are a bit less comfortable with, that are a bit more challenging, vulnerable, it's very important at some point to open up and be ready to also to receive the, the, the shadows or the vulnerabilities of your lover or partner. You get it, right? So remember that when you are listening, you don't interrupt. You just let your partner go into their flow. Very often what works as well is to set up some form of timing. It means that, for instance, if your partner starts sharing at the moment where, for instance, you're about to leave, right? You're on your car and you are supposed to be meeting some friends and you're about to take off and your partner goes like, wow, something really happened that bothers me and uh, I wanted to share that with you. You can say, pause, stop. Right now, I'm not available to listen to that because I have to take off and I really want to hear what you have to say, but right now is not the right time. Is it okay if you tell me this evening? And if they keep on insisting, you say, look, right now is really not the right moment because I have to take off and I'm not really present. So please share with me this evening. So you can give boundaries in the moment and, um, and tell them when is the right time to share what they have to share. But what's important is that once you open the space and be a good listener and, uh, you know, in terms of timing, if somebody starts sharing and goes on like for a whole hour of in-depth sharing, you might get drained a little bit with that. So in my experience, having somebody sharing, you know, continuously for about five to 15 minutes works really well. Very often the idea is to have a kind of ping pong game uh, of, of sharing where the person shares and then you can reflect. You can say, okay, I hear what you're saying. Would you like to hear how I feel when you are saying these things? So reflecting on what the person just said, and then maybe you might have something else coming up. So it's an ongoing discussion and dialogue. But the first thing to be able to do is really to be able to listen. 
stay present without trying to fix, correct, or educate your partner. You get that. I'll be back soon with another tip.